be home. Yes. Amen. We don't do strangers. It's good to be home. Yes. In the mighty name yes. of Jesus. Amen. Let's open our Bibles tonight to Ephesians, the second chapter of this text. Uh, thank God for all of you that went down to Hopkins Sunday. Yes, Lord. Thank God if you missed that church. Amen. So it's <laughs> Sunday. Yes, yes. Uh, Facebook ain't going to help you on that one. No, no. Hallelujah. God blessed in the house tremendously. Amen. Thank God for that pastor in that church. Amen. Amen. God is still good. Yes, All the time. God is good. I'm going to read just a couple of verses in that text. In that second uh, chapter of Ephesians. Everybody there? Amen. Start at the 14th verses there. For he is our peace, which has made both one and has broken down the middle wall of the petition between us, having abolished, abolished in his flesh and enmity even the law of the commandments containing the ordinances for to make in himself a twin one new man, so making peace. And that he might reconcile both unto God in the one body by the cross, having slain the, the enmity thereby. And came and preached peace to you, which were afar off, and to them that were nigh. Uh -huh. uh, for though he, him, would both have the, uh, access by one spirit unto the Father. Somebody say, Our Father. Tonight, I, I want to ask the question, is, if you think about it throughout this service tonight, in the form of, is he your peace? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Before you take your seats tonight, we, we try to find peace as a country in all kinds of places. And you don't have to go to but one source. The Yeshua. Uh, the world go to habits for peace. The world go to contagious situations for peace. The world go with revenges for peace. Our world, go ahead and take your seats. Our world is a world of differences. There are political differences that results in war, division, and strife, yeah. both in America and around the world. There are social differences, and differences of different ways of living. Uh, these different ways cause divisions. There are differences in homes. Sometimes there are fighting between spouses, between children, between parents and children, and both extended members of the family, those differences uh, translates into divisions. Yeah. Uh, sadly, there are also differences in the church, differences in styles of worship, doctrine, yeah. beliefs, types of music, dress codes, and all kinds of things that just don't make sense. Is anybody home tonight? Yeah. But in this text tonight, as I try to hang out here for a few minutes and we're going to get out of here. Amen? In this particular text, Paul is attempting to teach us that, that in Christ that all our differences are put to death. Uh -huh. uh, let me say to us on notice, if you have accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, uh, all of those old divisions should have dried up. Uh -huh. uh, but I come and beg with you tonight, and you, they didn't dry up because uh, I still see it and I still hear those differences. I, I see them every day of my life. I'm not talking about this in the church, but out there. Uh -huh. uh, so many times I see so many families with differences and divisions that, that they will never fix. Uh -huh. That, that's why tonight we got to see if we have the love of Christ on the inside of us. 
when we have the love of Christ on the inside of us, uh, we'll learn that I don't want this division. I don't want that division. I, I don't want that broken situation. I don't want that problem. I'm, I'm going to be the fixer of the family. Anybody home tonight? You got to ask yourself that question tonight. Is he your peace? Uh -huh. It's hard to deliver something that you don't have to deliver. Amen. Let me say that again. It's hard to display something you don't have. It's hard. Oh, you, 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 you can be the best mockingbird in the world. Be the best what? Mimic. Be the best preacher in the world. You're able to display peace and harmony. Yeah. I, I keep saying this every time I get up to preach. Sometimes right ain't the answer. Sometimes the right answer is wrong. Because we as people in this church, in this world, so many times, sister, we're sisters, we're not ready for the right answer. See, it's hard to put Something on the table to try to take it back. And most of the time, it won't come back. Wow. Somebody shout glory here. Right. Having read this text and, and gone through this text and, and these particular verses of, of the richness of our past and, and, and our lost conditions, Paul tells us in this text that, 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 that who sometimes were far off and made nigh by the blood of Christ. And that's, I remind us here tonight, can I just teach you a little bit? I know y'all like to holler and preach, but can I just teach a little bit on this, on this text? Because I think tonight this message is going to help you in your thinking, in your way that I, I, I just, I, because see, if you can ever get the platform and stand on the platform, you can make it. I can't hear nobody. Huh? But, but you got to make up your mind if you want peace. Uh -huh. And see, when you make up your mind, all I want is peace. Uh -huh. And the only way you're going to be able to get peace uh -huh, is to let go of some stuff uh -huh, and let go of all junk. Uh -huh. How many of those some people are joking? How, how, how many know? How many know? How many know? You don't have to act up because people make you act up. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on. Amen. Come on. My motto is consider the source. That's right. When you learn how to consider the source, you won't be embraced and embarrassed by your own actions and your own ways because. See, when you learn how to consider the source, it has no purpose to your life. It may have purpose, but it has no purpose to your life. And anybody home tonight, uh -huh. see, as long as it doesn't have any purpose to your life, it doesn't matter who said it because they mean nothing to me. I hear people all the time, Sister Carol, I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. What you going to have left? Don't <laughs> 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 let the world make you stoop that way. Amen. She don't see. Hear, don't hear. Amen. My point is, they ain't putting no dollars in my pocket. On, I really don't care. Come on. I ain't paying no bills for me. I, I really care less. Come on, come on. Even in the church being saved, you got to learn how to get that way in this world. You got to learn how to live that way in this life. You can't run around and worry about people that don't want to be fixed, don't want to get fixed, living unforgiveness, living forgetfulness, and living a low down in this life. You can't worry about those kinds of people. You can't put yourself out there that way. When God has delivered you and saved you, be free. Amen. 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 Well, I rest well last night because of something he said. The devil is alive. 
Yeah. All I'm saying tonight is your peace. Do you have peace? Is he your peace? Is he our peace? What makes you think that you have peace? When did you discover that you have peace? And you all upside the wall talking about you got peace. You tearing up people's character talking about you got peace. Did that give you peace? No. No. My God. No. Y'all getting quiet in here. What is it? Well, you're getting quiet tonight. That means you're listening. I appreciate that. We're dealing with the body of Christ. It is doing with the fact that the body of Christ is made of both redeemed Jews and Gentiles. And, and the Bible says these two groups were enemies of one another, which caused division. Uh, this is over that verse 11. I read the difference between the Jews and the Gentiles are driven home clearly by the words of this text. Then give us the glorious news of Jesus through shedding the blood has re redeemed us, reached our bodies, our minds, and our soul when we was lost in sin and has brought us with his precious blood. Amen. I give you title. Why do you want to keep making car papers? You got the title to the car. I don't know a lot. <laughs> Why? You don't believe it. Salvation is free. A title is free. Title means that you have to have to deal with that demon five hundred dollars every month anymore. So when you have accepted the blood of Jesus, you know you accept the blood of Jesus. You don't have to see, have to deal with your old sins and make no more payments. They all have been forgiven. The only payments you can make is when you go back and forth, talk about what you got that you don't have. Because they're allowing me. Oh, Jesus. You got to, some of us keep calling it long time. You sure that thing paid off? <laughs> He's so used to making payments. Come on now. You scared to spend the extra $200. Follow my money. This job you paid was due last week. What happened? All I'm saying is tonight, you can't live in this world until you find peace. Hallelujah. Somebody say, find peace. Find peace. When you find peace, you won't have problems with your brothers and your sisters. When you have peace, you won't have to come here with having a crowd rehearsal and can't have a crowd rehearsal for you because you don't have peace. Come on now. Wow. Hey, come on now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You fit well. Amen. Come on now. You find peace. The word of God says your gift will make room for you. You don't have to take your gift and push it on nothing in nobody. You don't have to soak the world trying to get your gift in. It's simply me. Wait for your time. God will place you where you need to be. This may not be your crown for your gift, but God is getting you ready for your gift if you trust God and he can trust you with the gift. So many times our gift comes obsolete because of our own feeling. I sing better than her. Come on now. We don't need the mockingbird right Come now. On now. Yeah. We need somebody that's saved Come right on. now. Oh. We're not looking for talent. You need to go to talent search. Yeah. We're looking for somebody that got Jesus. looking for what you brought out the street because you came in here out the street with your gift but you didn't get delivered and now you want to put your, your, your gift and everybody else's heart and everybody else's face but it doesn't work discerning spirits will turn you out Lord God. Lord God. Lord God. Lord God. Lord God. 
have to fight with no demon. Come on, girl. You ought to laugh at them. <laughs> then pray for them. Right. For their deliverance. That's right. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. Thank you. God is good. I've been shown up all the time. Paul teaches us that there is more Jews or Gentiles, but there is only Christ. Those are in him. So you got a choice. Nobody makes you accept Christ. No. Nobody makes you take salvation. You can risk it all you get ready. The pits of hell is wide open. Amen. Amen. Nobody forces you to, 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 to talk about the blood. Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood. Dun, dun. Now, anybody ask you to say that? If, you, if it's not in you, don't say it. But if it's in you, you ought to testify. Amen. I was a lost, but now I'm yes, Lord. Testify. See, you feel it. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. If this thing was hot, and I didn't know it, Brother Troy, I laid my hands on it, and it started firing, you will hear something. Amen. So if the, the, the blood of God is in you, yes. Jesus is in you, yes. you ought to feel something sometimes. Something a hollow to come out of you sometimes. You ought to have something different out of you. Because when I was lost, I was confused. When I found Jesus, I began to get friends. In other words, there ought to be a change in you. Everybody don't wallow. Everybody don't dance. But when you feel something, something ought to come from the inside of you. Something ought to burst forth as a witness. And something has happened to me. Yeah. My life has changed. You ought, you ought to have something to say. Amen. I'm not telling you to run around the church. But for some folks, it takes for running around the church. Yeah. I love to try to catch up with Jesus and try to catch me with your hand. <laughs> but they run. Amen. And it's all right. Amen. It's all right to discipline it. I want us to understand. We who worship God is a new way. As a third race, as Christian, Paul's word to us is known that Jesus, for those who form that wall, made peace. I come at it not to tell you the reason your mind is racing. You have no peace. We take things of the world that we cannot accept and it Drive up our peace. You find things going around and around and around your mind. You find your mind all bit out of shape. You find your mind unprocessed. And you begin to, to find yourself indifferent. And as you find yourself indifferent, it began to bring divisions in you. And I, when everything you touch become division. Uh -huh. uh, every conversation you have is a division. You don't want to listen to anybody. The reason you don't want to listen to anybody, you, you're afraid of repeating yourself. You're afraid of somebody uh, getting ahead of you. But tonight as I come and share this message with you, you, you're going to have to stop where you are uh -huh. and find peace through your circumstance and find peace through your situation. I don't care who's right or who's wrong. You, you just got to find peace uh, because you're a child of God. You, uh, you say I'm saved and I'm delivered and I'm bought with a price. I, I have the blood of Jesus all over me. Well, you ought to act like it. Huh? In other words, if you got the blood of Jesus, that's no more confusion. Huh? There's no more brokenness. There's no more hurtfulness. Oh, uh -huh. I, I just want to praise the Lord. I, I just want to give him glory. I, I just want to tell him thank you. Because uh -huh. I don't know about you, but when I was down and out, uh -huh. he picked me up uh -huh. and he turned me around. Uh -huh. And he puts 
disciples, aha, uh -huh, that was on my feet, aha, uh -huh. he broke them away, aha, uh -huh. he loosed my hands, aha, uh -huh, so I can clap my hands, aha, uh -huh. he loosed my feet, aha, uh -huh, and I can stomp my feet, aha, uh -huh, and run if I have to, aha, uh -huh. all night from the night, aha, uh -huh, to tell you and you, aha, uh -huh, that that was our peace, aha, uh -huh. You gotta stop dancing, uh huh. You gotta stop shouting, uh huh. And find peace, uh huh. And once you find peace, uh huh. You'll shout and dance, uh huh. With deliverance, uh huh. You won't shout and dance, uh huh. I'm angry, uh huh. But you'll shout and dance, uh huh. Giving God the glory, uh huh. Praising His holy name, uh huh. I want you to know, uh huh. If you find peace, uh huh. You can lay hands uh -huh, uh, on the sick uh -huh, and they'll get up uh -huh, and they're going to give God glory. Uh -huh. If you find yourself peace, uh -huh, you can speak uh -huh, words from your mouth uh -huh, and God will heal uh -huh, and he'll attend to uh -huh, on every need, uh -huh, on every request. Uh -huh, and you find yourself peace, uh -huh, uh, you don't have to worry uh -huh, about peace. Uh -huh. When you find yourself peace, uh -huh. uh, you don't have to worry uh -huh. about old habits, uh -huh. because old habits uh -huh. can't live there anymore. Uh -huh. uh, when you find peace, uh -huh. uh, somebody can trust you. Uh -huh. When you find peace, uh -huh. you'll show up uh -huh. for Bible study. Uh -huh. uh, when you find peace, uh -huh. you'll be the best usher. Uh -huh. uh, when you find peace, uh -huh. Uh -huh. They come brand new, uh -huh. and when you find peace, uh -huh. they never know it, uh -huh. and leave you alone. Uh -huh. uh, when you find peace, uh -huh. you're able uh -huh. to sleep at night. Uh -huh. uh, when you find peace, uh -huh. the truth comes from you. Uh -huh. uh, when you find peace, uh -huh. you're able uh -huh. to testify uh -huh. and tell somebody uh -huh. uh, how good. Uh, God is, uh -huh. uh, when you find peace, uh -huh. you're trifling babies, uh -huh. uh, all over, uh -huh. uh, when you find peace, uh -huh. you're able uh -huh. to trust in yourself, uh -huh. uh, when you find peace, uh -huh. you're able uh -huh. to make your word, uh -huh. uh, mean something, uh -huh. uh, when you find peace, uh -huh. you'll find your word, uh -huh. you'll be
destroy. He wanted to destroy, he will. See, the problem, we as Christians, we don't want to get rid of no stuff. Come on now. But see, what you got to understand, if you don't share it with God, he will have no junk. That's right. You say it. My hands look new. Uh -huh. My feet did too. Uh -huh. New stuff. Amen. Don't go down my old past. Right. Amen. Come on. Come on. Amen. Come on. Yes, Lord. Why do you want to drive a new car uh -oh. down a dusty dirt road? Come on now. Come on now. Because you're happy down that dirt road. Come on now. <laughs> Why do you want to take God's blessing? Down that broken road. The point tonight in this text is our peace. Prophet Isaiah spoke of the coming of Christ. He called him the Prince of Peace. In time to go to Isaiah 9 and 6, you see. Simply over it. Paul says he's our peace. <laughs> he's telling us by the wiki that Jesus is the ground of peace for both the Jews and the Gentiles. In other words, the Jews could never earn peace without God through their rituals. Amen. Sacrifices of the tip to keep the law. Listen, when you get peace from God and you ask God to give you peace, baby, you cannot stay the same. I don't care what your name is. I don't care what your mama, your daddy's name is. Once you accept peace from God, you cannot be the same. Stop letting the world tell you you think you better. You are better. You are Stop allowing the world to chastise you with God's goodness and mercy. That's Come on now. That's it. Accept what God allows and let the rest go. And anybody that, that can't accept you being saved, sanctified, and free of the devil, let them go. God is a what they did. Who they are. Same token, the Gentiles had no way even to approach God as they had no hope of securing peace with him. Uh, what if the law could not do what the sacrifice could? Not accomplish what works uh, the flesh could not work or make reality. Jesus did accomplish when he died on the cross. We I'm told that Jesus had broken down uh -huh, the middle wall uh -huh, of the divide. In other words, you don't have to be divided uh -huh, uh, unless you want to stay divided. Uh -huh. Broken down simply means the power to dissolve something uh -huh, coherent into parts to destroy. See, sometimes this text is telling us you got to break it down piece by piece. Don't, don't get mad because things don't go your way. Come on now. When you start trying to break down and fix. Come on now. I can't hear nobody. Come on now. Yeah, you want to knock it all down, but, but the, the, the Bible says that he has petitioned you to break down peace by peace. And no use you have no group meeting trying to say, I want all y'all to heal you. No, that's not how you do it. You deal with too many spirits. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody got a spirit, good or bad, we got a spirit. Yes, yes. You, know, you can't talk to no spirits. They're going to talk you out of what God done told you to do. Because you still on milk. That's why he said destroy piece by piece, person by person. You get everybody together because one thing about God, 
he got a different word for every situation. Some take liquid milk, some take powder milk, and some got to take clothes to get milk. <laughs> You see the child about this how to reach and reach him up. You know what you reach him for. I don't want that. Some of us takes that closeness to develop who we are in the Lord. Paul said, by peace, break down. But he also said in that same text, Connie, you got to get it in the middle. Every situation have a king. In other words, you may have five or six persons in this group, but you got one main devil in that group. Amen. Come on now. Come on. Come on. That's the middle he's talking about. Text is talking about. You got to get to that one first. <laughs> Long as that main devil is attacking the rest of you, you're gonna have a problem. Amen. Because that main devil comes and gonna be producing the other devils. Come on, come on. My God. My God. You can never find that main devil in your life. You can let go, but you cannot let go because you believe in that king be devil. My God, my God. That middle wall. Listen, this building couldn't stand if you have an anchor somewhere. That's right. That's right. Do a tag building down, brother. Rick, what you do? First thing you're gonna find an anchor. You're gonna find what's holding this dude together. That's real. Y'all got the wrong people. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. It's like walking down the street. You see some old man looking all dirty and dirty. Who that man dirty? You don't know what's in his bank account, do you? Hey, that's real now. Person that got real money don't talk. Sure, man. He looks poor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's real. That's real. That's real. That's real. You never know what God has around you. Whatever God sent your way, respect it. Amen. With kindness. Amen. Build a wall. Uh -huh. Tear down the center of it. You better know what you're doing. <laughs> you have to dissolve and destroy your problem. Somebody say glory in here. Glory. Paul mentioned we talked about the middle wall of the petition. This refers to the wall that stood between the court of the Gentiles and the court of the Israel in the ancient temple. This wall was about four feet tall and, and several openings all around it to recover the signs of and once it are huge and hug and, and, and but it was all a mental thing. See, see, people can put up a wall in front of you, but it's a mental thing if you don't understand. Nobody can do to me unless God allows them to. That's real. Nobody can bring me problems unless God allows me to. But if you get your mind strong in Him, I get really strong. And the one way to get your mind strong in, in God is your mental state of trust in Him. You, listen, you can't trust in something you don't believe in. It's, it's like you live by some money. And they come back and you're going to remind them what they didn't pay you last night. Oh, right come on, man. <laughs> Stay right there, Bishop. Uh -huh. Amen. And you got the audacity? Uh, Jesus. Jesus is the same. Amen. In other words, if you're going to boast and brag about your salvation, you got to show up and represent. Hallelujah. Thank you. Represent what you believe, who you believe. And not for all the ages. If you find peace, now finding peace, God is going to be a struggle because it's going to force you to get rid of some attached love. Yeah. Yeah. And most attached love ain't no good. That's right. That's right, bitch. I can't hear nobody. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff that's attached to you 
it causes you dilemmas. What what happens? Little birds nest. Mama used to leave them all behind. Y'all got that nest. Bad boy, y'all kids. All of them weasel eggs. That's it. That's it. That's it. We have to let people, Doctor Martin, find life. That's it. So we, when we find life for them, it costs us too much. Yeah, yeah. I don't care if it is blood. Amen. It costs us too much. Amen. They enjoy more of our life than we do. Lot more of it than we do. Because of your attachments. Mama ain't no good. Daddy ain't no good. Well, you might well not be no good. Because as long as they know you feeling that way, they're going to grab on That's you. It. On, 30 years old, they'll still be grabbing on you. They're going to come down there. Hands around you, girl. You're my girlfriend. Now, you're, now your whole wallet let them open. I guess I'll see you next time. The next shit come. But we have to make folks grow themselves up. Yeah. 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 I'm not I'm pushing on me too. Yeah. I'm probably not older. We have to get rid of that intuition. Intuition, mm-hmm. boys, sit your feelings. Mm-hmm. Use that word last week. <laughs> 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 But, but, but on a serious note, learn to separate yourself from pain. Amen. Stop using the term my child, my brother, my sister. Go do you. That's it. Put a hand for my. Go do you. Back in, back in January, my New Year's resolution was, bro, from when I turn you loose, you're going to be loose. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. Come on. Yeah. They're going to come back. Come on. Oh, yeah, they're going to come back when you ain't got nothing either. That's it. That's it. They, they think they come back to the same person. It ain't the same person. It ain't the same situation. The grits could have got hard. It ain't the same. It's different. And you got to make it a different world. Listen, don't lay around lonely for broken to come find you. Come on, now. Go find yourself a life. Make sure that life consists of peace. Stop letting church devour you in your mind. Hallelujah. Man, you know I'm saved, so I got it. It's bad to be saved and broke. <laughs> And he said that I, I open the windows of heaven under you. Amen. And my abuse is in all you, doesn't it? Amen. It didn't call the mother's name, but why were you? Those are your windows. Stop letting folks jump in your windows. Come on, man. Hey. Get your stuff. Come on, man. Hey. Amen. I don't want to ever hear you say, well, if I hadn't done this, I would have this, I would have that. That's a bad excuse. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't talking about nobody in particular. Come on now. Talk about me. Yeah. If you want, you can get it also. But part of this, this message tonight is he your peace. Come on now. There's only way he could be your peace is you follow his instructions. Yeah. You're going to find my time up. He destroyed, the Bible says, I'm going home. A spiritual wall. Listen, you can get a spiritual wall that doesn't identify you. You gotta allow your conscience to make bad decisions for you. Oh yeah. You can let your conscience go and coach eyes up for somebody. Mess you up the rest of your life. If, if, if that name messed up, how you gonna get your name? <laughs> That's real. 
Y'all get mad at folks. Come on now. Cause folks use common sense. Yeah. My God. I'll go home now. Right. <laughs> but 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 oh, excuse me. you learn life as you go through life. Don't y'all look crazy? Yeah. <laughs> you learn life as you go through life. Yeah. And as you're going through life, you're able to get free. Yeah, yeah. Come on, clap those hands. Clap those hands, clap those hands, clap those hands. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you again. Yeah. This is a power for words to get you set free. Yeah. Message your video. I know you didn't get the shot. That's all right. But you all get to think about it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. It's time now. You leave here tonight. Look at the mirror. Point in that mirror says, Time to do you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Time to do you. Yeah. And you will be amazed at what God will do for you. Get rid of that old poor me. Pillar for me. Don't worry about yesterday. Yesterday is done. Yeah. Don't waste your time on yesterday. Yesterday is finished. You may not like this word, but you got to eat it. My mom just tells you, you may not like the collar, but you got to eat it. Amen. I'm going to feed you the same collar tomorrow. <laughs> you might want to eat a match, I can fix something different tomorrow. <laughs> That's the way life goes. Amen. Amen. God is good all the, all the time. God is good. Come on, clap those hands. I pray that you are able to find something here that can bless you the rest of this week. Father God, now we thank you for this word. We thank you for your kindness, God. We thank you for your tenderness, God. We thank you for your teaching, God. We thank you for your deliverance, God. We thank you for making everything be okay. Oh, God, touch now. Set free in here tonight. Deliver in here tonight. Bring everything under your control. And God, I pray that this word has soaked in somebody's heart to make a difference in their life. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen.